Good morning. So I have a very powerful dragon message for you ladies who end up in the same type of relationships over and over again. And they tend to be a bit narcissistic. Can you relate? So listen to this message, okay? Now this is called dragon love. Ah, when your human heart breaks, we fly to your side. We can help you to heal, to regrow, and strengthen your beautiful heart. Let us in, let us help, and know you will go on. So I'm drinking my coffee this morning out of this mug, which is kind of a magical mug in a way. Uh, it probably shows up backwards, the, the wording on here for you, but what it says is weaponized empath courtesy of HG Tudor. Now, if you're not familiar with HG Tudor, he is a diagnosed narcissistic psychopath. He has a very popular YouTube channel. Um, I had him on my YouTube channel, I don't know, about a year ago, I guess, and interviewed him. He is brilliant. He is funny. He's got this British accent. It's a, it's a pseudonym. That's not his real name. But since he is a narcissist, and a narc uh, he's got this the psychopath uh, part to it, um, there's 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 different blends, right? There's different blends, and I and if you're watching this and you're saying, yeah, oh yeah, I can relate. I've gone through that. You're probably an empath, very empathic person who loves, who wants to heal people, who wants to be agreeable and be there. And the reason that I got this mug, uh, some of HG Tudor's merch, and love to have my coffee in this mug is to remind myself that yes, I'm an empath, but I'm a weaponized empath. And how can you be a weaponized empath? It's knowing who the F you are. It's loving yourself. These dragon messages are no joke. So I picked another one that will help us with becoming more of a weaponized empath, okay? So dragon queen is this one. Rise up and embrace the might within. Warrior, queen, mother, empress, witch, Stand beneath the stars, dance with the sunbeams, show this human world your grace and power. And that's how you do it, being totally who you are, grounding down in yourself, knowing that you deserve the best, you deserve love, you deserve to treat yourself the best, you deserve to hold strong boundaries. And so when you start working with this energy, with that empress, that queen, that witch, standing under the stars, knowing how powerful you are, you start to respect yourself so much more, love yourself so much more, and you won't allow that type of behavior coming from another person, coming from that outside source. Because often, us empathic women, we want that validation from outside of ourselves, and we're looking to please we may feel like a doormat, we uh, people pleaser, going above and beyond, and then we're depleted and drained. And so take that beautiful message of the dragons, love yourself, and become that uh, weaponized empath. And if you have to remind yourself by drinking it out of a mug that states it, then do so, okay? And leave me some comments and let me know what you're struggling with and if you continue to go into that pattern of uh, consistently getting into relationships with the narcissistic type, the difficult personality type, that challenging type, or as Dr. Roberta Shaler would say, those hijackles. All right, I'm sending you much love. Till next time.